road. Let's get this show on the road. That way I can eat while I do cutscenes and shit. So last time we left off, we were supposed to be talking to Galagar and getting that all situated and set up and whatever, because spies. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. We need my food now as well. to do just have like the stupidest fucking responses to everything whatever not possible it was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl uh, uh. i'm not letting you get by this time please leave or i'll have to get on my knees and beg you Wow, we have traumatized this man. This crime have you committed now? <laughs> Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed We just explained through. to you we are a part of the investigation, Everyone, buddy. Move out of the way before I traumatize you again. Sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Okay, seriously, Himiko's voice another sounds different way. to me. Still sounds uh, different that's to me. It. Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. <laughs> Can you perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. Traumatize him again for me, please. Man, March, I thought you were supposed to be the nice one. You want me to traumatize this man again? That's terrible. But I can't abuse it for evil doings. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. It's just, this is... The writers, like the writing team for Pentacone, did such a good job of grabbing the concept and idea of a 1920s, like, theme. Like, noir-style theme. Like, straight out of, like, Hollywood and all this other stuff. Like, it's really fucking good. It's, like, really, really good. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism. The moment of dusk. My companion. Yeah, the Gilded Age, Art Deco, all that. Yep. And you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything it kind of reminds me. And everything can be bought or sold. Even I've, I've never played any of the Fallout games for more than like maybe an hour. Um, it, just, it just didn't grab me enough. Uh, and I wasn't determined enough to play, I guess you could say. Um, but it kind of reminds me of that that sort of style. Post-apocalyptic, you know, 19, you know, 1900s, early 1900s kind of style. It's kind of that same vibe. It also reminds me of like Rapture in... Um, 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 you guys know what game I'm talking about. I can't remember the name of the game right now, but the city of Rapture under the sea and all that stuff. Bioshock. Thank you. Thank you, Lagarde. Reminds me of Bioshock, like all that stuff. And I just think they've done a really, really good job of putting their own spin on it. 
Fall Evers got stuck in the 1950s kind of future punk aesthetic, yeah. But, like, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, they do a really good job of kind of grabbing that and, like, pushing it into this uh, space opera, right? It's nice. It's cool. I saw an Intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Any kind of space adventure does give excuses to go wild and all kinds of aesthetics. Absolutely. The old bike is very Soviet, I felt. Yeah, no, I, I could see that. I could definitely see that. It is very, it is, it's like, yeah, yeah, definitely. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Kind of yeah, there's always a space China. A long time ago. There's always every Hoya game has a has some kind of China. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watched the tides of night rise and fall. All these different worlds are basically human people. humanity turned to eleven. Right? Human cultures turned to eleven. And impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream. Is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, Humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. 
The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past, and within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life, alone. <sighs> I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation song, by the way. after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? I wish he had actually and said all-consuming black exactly hole. Do we even walk towards the light? Mm-hmm. Give me a moment to breathe, game. Um, I agree. That was a nice reminder that wealth is from Earth. Um, I I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, I I'm gonna watch a lore video for Honkai Impact Third at some point. But I really kind of want to play it too. It makes me really want to play it. Once me read, once me makes me want to read all the Welt comics and all this other stuff because Welt is such an interesting character. He's such a cool character. I I talked to, I talked about this with a friend of mine while back that these days in anime and stories at least from the media that i consume or try not to consume i guess you don't often get a male main character that is older kind of like established and actually like just kind of no shit like he's been through life you know what i mean you know you know what i'm saying like there was there was an anime that came out a while back um chilling in my 30s uh, as a former demon lord or something along those lines, right? It was like a old, like a just a normal like dude in his thirties, just on an adventure, just chilling, right? None of the bullshit that comes with like when you're fucking have your sixteen year old adventurer or something along those lines. Just a nice older dude finds a girl, marries her, has a good life, just everything fine for the most part, other than you know crazy adventurer stuff. But like, it doesn't happen very often, so. When I see characters like this, I'm like, God, this character is so cool for me. And maybe that's because I'm older now. I'm also in my 30s, right? And so when I see a character like Welt, personally, I can I I I can personally identify with a character like Welt more than I can identify with, frankly, the Trailblazer. Because the Trailblazer irritates the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. I've talked about this before. I don't like their personality um that they've presented for the trailblazer most of the time because they're basically march but not as march if that makes sense they're they're super tongue in cheek they're kind of a little shit and i'm just like i i ain't got time for all that i don't i don't care um so and, and the the male voice doesn't help at all for that and so yeah i don't know just characters like welt are really cool and i want more welt 
And that whole interaction and scene makes me even more happy about my team combination of Wilt and Acheron. So, yeah. That was a good sequence, though. It made me curious about things. Why do I get the feeling that's like Boot Hill or some shit? Because Boot Hill's a ranger too, if I remember correctly. Bet. This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. He even kinda has that little My bullets will fall. Yeah, it has that country twang to it too. Oh my god, they actually, they actually gave him, oh my god, they actually gave him a slight southern twang. I love it. Oh, fuck. Damn it. No. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's so terrible. Like, in the best way. Like, I just want to clarify that. <laughs> like, in, like, in the best way. Oh, no. He's a. oh, damn it. I'm going to like him. I'm gonna like him. I'm gonna have to pull for him. Oh no! Oh, I can feel it. I'm gonna end up liking him. Oh, must pull. Yeah, they actually gave him. They actually. Oh, his English. I'm telling you right now, his English VA is gonna be his best version. Then, the fact that he will have the whole Western cowboy country twang is it's it's gonna be perfect. Oh damn, that's not fair. Are you? Huh? Did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? He's. <sighs> Can you even do a Western accent in a Japanese or Chinese? I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel like his English V is immediately going to be the best because it's going to fit the character the best. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. It's just the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean. Wait for me. <laughs> oh, god damn it, I like his lines. Damn it. I guess it could be more like country accent for those countries, sure. Like you can sort of tell if someone is not from the city and lives in a farm over there, over here. True, but like, okay, so but this motif the like the western cowboy is a very specific motif right um and so if if i i I'll, nah i just don't think they'll be able to do it as well no matter what they do <laughs> yeah yeah no you're exactly it's a very specific motif and i honestly i had i you know in my dreams i have seen some things of boot hill and i was like ah, i don't want to I'm not gonna like this guy whatever but this this interaction and his voice immediately makes me like yes I want, I want my country cowboy, um, bounty hunter now. I need a physical DPS anyways. Fuck it. Damn it. I hope they don't run like Argenti at the same time or something along those lines. Cause I had been considering getting him. So, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but you know, Acheron, the galaxy ranger. Yes. That's a few hundred dollars, right? Yeah. Asking me to write your will. Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? I'm saving my resources right now anyways because I'm not pulling for adventuring and or Jing Liu on her rerun, so she's clearly not a path strider of the hunt. But you are, aren't you? Tell me. What's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. God, they... Man, I want to know who his VA is. They, He's doing he such a good job. Oh, my God. It's such a good job. It's such a good job. Oh, it's so good. It's so... 
I cannot, I, I don't, like, as someone who, like, okay, so, understand this. I grew up watching westerns, okay? And, like, around that sort of, uh, that sort of a Hollywood style uh, of badass cowboys and rangers, Walker, Texas Ranger kind of shit, like, all that crap, right? And then I've seen some of those turned up to 11 in other scenarios like this, and I cannot express as a as an American, how fucking good this voice is right now. I literally, I just, I cannot put it in, I feel like I cannot put it into full context. It's so good. <laughs> so good. Well, <laughs> I'll be on Panacone soon. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's passed. Well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Hmm. Ooh, that's a nice. That's a nice somehow. Take a screenshot of that. That's a that's a that's a good thumbnail. I like that. Hell yeah. An emanator who should not exist. Hell yeah. That's right. It's true. It actually makes a lot of sense. There shouldn't be an emanator of of of, of nihility. If everything's supposed to end, why would you need some super powered being? Poor Aventurine. He's, he is not having a good... I forgot about this. Aventurine over here not having a good time at all. <laughs> Unless he flips the script. I'm kind of expecting him to flip the script, but we'll see. You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. God. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties. Aha, uh -huh. it was an inside job. It was always an inside job. You never you could never trust it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. God damn, I knew it. Um real quick though, back to the boot hill thing. Uh, uh I love the way that this game introduces characters that are like gonna be in like a different part of the story because they did the same thing with adventuring right you had the topaz story and then adventuring calls 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 her we don't know it's adventuring yet other than like her saying saying something at the very end and then and then we get his name but then like you just hear his voice you don't see the character you just hear his voice so you're already like this is a saucy motherfucker right you're ready for it and then with uh, with Boot Hill here, I feel like it's the same sort of scenario. I probably shouldn't even know his name yet, but okay, it's whatever. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family, and that they hold the secrets of Panacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Ever the gambler. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. 
go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Yeah. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. Oh. What's this? Medical advice? And he's gone. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> the harmony. Asking me to solve the case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you. Wing headed scoundrel. <laughs> you wing headed scoundrel. Oh, eventually he's gonna get cancelled now because he pointed out a feature on a on a Sunday. Oh shit. <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. What's this? What's this scroll holding a doctor's prescription when the doctor advises you only avail it in the moment of life or death? You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. Yep. To Icarus. POV switch, adventure. Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Looking at that, Boot Hill better have a he flicks a coin in the air and shoots it. Just saying. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewer. Ah, uh, sparkle. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? She's here. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Oh, wait, did Sunday actually take her up on her offer to uh, disguise herself as a Robin? Interesting. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well... It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Interesting. Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well... 
I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find it. Like there's, there's so many, there's so many cooks in this kitchen right now, right? We have the Trailblazers, we have the family, we have Akron, we have Aventurine, we have uh, Sparkle. There are so many different paths converging here at Pentagoni right now. You got Nihility, we've got Hunt, because Boothill's coming, we got Hunt, we got Preservation, we got Destruction, Black, yeah, Black Swan, we've, <laughs> like, we, let's see, Sparkle, Aventurine, Acheron, Boot Hill, Black Swan, um, Sam, right, Sam slash probably Firefly, um, uh, the Trailblaze, uh, maybe the, yeah, maybe the Annihilation Gang will come near the end, right, like, what's left of them, um, uh, Sunday, Dr. Ratio, <laughs> like, Pentacony as a story has so many characters, and I think they've done a really good job so far of, like, being like, we're just gonna POV switch now, we're just gonna, we're gonna change the story. The Trailblazer, they're here doing their thing, but we're gonna change your perspective of the story, and I love it. Constance established the link between Boo Hill and BS. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, every cowboy needs a... Uh, needs a saloon girl. <laughs> Did you really mean Robin? You probably meant us, because we don't talk very much. Hmm. Okay, this raven is back again. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Hmm. <laughs> right now there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to express I hope at the end of this story they kind of like break down the whole thing. Because <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm constantly missing things. Impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. Okay. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? <laughs> Here's a nuke. <laughs> I have one. You have one. Let's see who hits the button first. La 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 la. <laughs> sparkle. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care too. Wow. I love her energy and I always will. Oh, deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Pentagony. I'll handle the rest myself. 
I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? I was waiting for her to call him Chicken Wing Boy again. <laughs> or no, because that, that's for uh, that's for Sunday. Never mind. Okay, that was unexpected, but also kind of expected. I was kind of wondering what the tattoo was for. Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Kind of like barcode -ish. I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. I like her drip. Why couldn't she have been Gallagher? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! I think she is. She is cool Who's indeed. Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> She's heard us. My ship it. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. No, seriously, like I, I've Gallagher such a non-character. The skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. The discussion Ugh. might take quite some time. Random, so inserted random side task and character for the purpose of getting you attached to them so that you'll pull for them. But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> Saibon, uh, it was great. That's great. Me, my lovely lady. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's True. atmosphere. Master technique. And spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. I agree. But yes, go introduce her of all she needs a Kakolia replacement. Ah, uh, sure. 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 She seemed cool, though. Let me tell you, don't underestimate the bartenders of Benagoni, especially not Gallagher. This guy is pure magic. He can satisfy even the pickiest of customers. Don't go easy on this old man. Give him a real challenge. Okay, seriously, I want you I want you guys to think about this for a second. Look at these two designs. Look at these two Look at these two designs, all right? And tell me that you wouldn't pick Saiban. I can't I I missed the pronunciation of her name over Gallagher's design. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, is she a character we're gonna get in the future? I hope so. I actually, I, she looks cool, she sounds cool. Way more interesting, way more interesting than Gallagher already, and I've met Gallagher twice now. I met her once and immediately was like, this character's cool. Do you imagine uses an NPC model? For the most part, yeah. There are a lot of ladies out there who pick Gallagher. Yeah, I know. But, like, at the same time, I, like, Gal... <sighs> but he's not. He's just not... He's not cool, man. He's not cool. <laughs> well, he's gonna enjoy him, sure. Whatever. There's probably a lot of dudes out there who like Gallagher, too. 
I'm not one of them. I think he's a non-character. Just like he's a non-character like Arlan, he's a non-character like Misha, he's a non-character. Like the like yeah, just yeah. If you want to keep company at the counter and you have bad rolls on your sub stats, <laughs> as long as they're come for you, yeah. Uh Like, I don't even care that she's in, clearly more into women. That's fine. You can just be friends. I'm totally fine with that. I, I, she just seems cooler, just straight out the gate. You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't. Cool. Oh. Okay, what you doing over here? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Cool. That's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. Juan, I'm sorry. Green. I'm not interested in your proposal. A little bit gr Looks like she's getting some lights in there. The grays. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris to stay. Even the game is like, you're destined for more. Even the game is like, look, you're awesome. You deserve better. will become the talk of Penacony is shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really... Siobhan. Need you. Okay. Siobhan? <sighs> Siobhan is like a V sound for a B. Siobhan? As you see, like I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just... <sighs> One moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, why not? Can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Just what yeah, I'm waiting for. I'm counting on you. Are you you bothering you? I'm sorry, Miss Siobhan, is, is this lady bothering you? Don't worry, I'll take care of her you right now. <laughs> yes. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. So anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can bring the different drink ingredients. Try reading her thoughts. Make her angry. I know your thoughts. Emotion has been turned to angry. Jerks! They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. Sure. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back. And write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing Go on, the go on, shrimp. Committed by the Iris family, Siobhan will definitely appreciate. I'm sure she won't, but things might get out of control if she gets any angrier. I just don't get why she won't. All right, let's let's go with uh, let's go with sad. <laughs> It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never I'm too timid and shy. Longing to shine, but afraid of step. You don't know Siobhan's past. And you have, I know. She probably thinks I'm just. 
You feel an explosive mix of bitterness and sweetness that brings the air. The next moment, that emotion turns into liquid, filling your goblet. Well, damn. I'm. I literally. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to try I again. literally have a drink based on her tears. <laughs> Internal endurance. What the fuck is this? This just looks painfully terrible. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customer. She already gone? You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do? I just don't get why. She... I don't get it. Send her back You're to the You're one normal. of Siobhan's guests. I just don't. All right, we'll make her happy. Maybe then she'll leave. Oh, hey. I've seen it. The crowd is going wild. Yep. I've seen. Yep. That's. Yep. <laughs> Want to raise a glass? Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Maybe I should find a place. Yeah. Try again another day. Shabbat Just not right now. And don't be, you know. Here's the payment for Just the don't overly hit on your bartenders. It's just bad, okay? Like they're there to listen to you and kind of flirt because tips and everything along those lines. But just don't, don't make it weird, okay? Just don't make it weird. All right, don't make it weird. That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. I wonder who her VA is. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Seriously, her design is way too freaking good to be a side character. I hate it. Savor emotions. Hold up, I got some new recipes. I got a couple of recipes there. Are these are things I can actually craft. Or... No, they were not. Looks like maybe. Yep, there's mission items. Okay. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just fix I don't care, Gallagher. Out. I really just don't, man. I have no interest nice in you. Let me take a look. You found like, some none. interesting ingredients. And I'm not going to pretend I do. Each drink has its own unique flavor and the Let's let's go Oh, there was another one, Dream Syrup. The original formula is said to be a new... Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. Eternal. I want to drink the tears of, of, of the, 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 the fools. The taste is not very intense, yet evocative. After those despicables sent Mikhail away... I know a friend of mine who would probably enjoy all this, though. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Mikhail. Which Wait style do you prefer? There's actually interesting yeah, information me. in here. Hmm... Cool. I'll pay attention for that yeah, for purposes. It. I'll read it myself. The IPC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Very. Well, it's done. Here's to you, Trailblazer, with this glass of even the wicked. What's it called? Even the wicked. I like it. I like it. That's a cool drink. I like it. I'll take it. To the sad truth. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. The richness and layers of these flavors. Cool. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a prof... The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. 
It's just a glimpse. Does this true taste have anything to do? Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Wait, how would you? What? How would you have heard someone calling that name? You weren't there. What? Am I am I crazy? March was not there when we got knocked out, right? That was just us and Firefly. Why the fuck? How does March think heard someone calling that name? Or was she? How? <laughs> yeah, nobody from the Express was there. It was just us and Firefly. <laughs> March seventh, no doubt. The official stalker. She has CCTV five twenty four seven on you. I guess that feels like a that feels like a story, like a flaw in the story logic. That they put there so that, like, if you, the player, really don't remember, they could be like, but March remembers, so it must have happened, right? But, like, that didn't happen. What? I think I heard someone calling that name. Who? I knew the name sounded familiar, but, like, Mar this this feels like a flaw in the story. I may be wrong. I'm going to take a screenshot of this for future reference. But it just feels weird. Uh, I'm curious who these reference to morning actors over oh, because masked fools are well the masked fools the nameless are us uh, in a context history fictionologists I wonder who these are referenced to because like every group has a different name like there's a bunch of different names for different groups underneath each path so among them was the person who would eventually be known as the watchmaker but if you do the math doesn't that mean the watchmaker was around for several centuries? Yes. I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded. Honestly, I would take that as him being like an ass and just reverse the numbers 31. World and internal conflict between major prison districts. But hey, he said he's 13. This means all you people thirsting out after him. I guess you're into children now. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> fucking terrible. It wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the it idea was a joke, of turning the, the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. Adult model, facial hair, 13. <laughs> Welcome to anime. <laughs> yup. But did you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion. He reminds me of um, all the hound stuff. He also reminds me of um, um, uh, uh, is it is it Bigby the the bad the the bad wolf the the big bad wolf from the uh, the video game or the comic book series? I can't remember what it's called, but it's from the the fairy tale stuff. It's kind of what he reminds me of. No, I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. True. Just like Indecision you, is still decision. Companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were I feel like I've reached a point where this is a little overly complicated for my brain to really keep track of what's the point of all this. Else. Well, they continue to praise the watchmaker's name in the world behind closed doors, 
They condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacony. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. There is. The family accepted me and made me an officer. Supposedly as a form so of... I'm pretty sure there is. I think it was like exactly. two or three episodes ago, back in one point something. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the top. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. We will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Hmm? Uh, something just happened to... How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways... Gallagher does have... A cool. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of... Exactly. Yeah, we already knew that, though. I feel like we're retreading a little bit. Like, we're getting more information. We're still kind of retreading things. Like, we get it. The family doesn't get along. They're all fucked. Cool. Welcome to Vegas. <laughs> that lines up with what we've gathered so far. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. Again, we already knew that. ...because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. True. We kind of all... We kind of knew that as the audience from Welt and Acheron's conversations. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? And this, we kind of already knew because, well, we've interacted with Clocky. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the... I'm saying, our vision here has come to an end. How progress is going on your end? <laughs> Just drops that he's been working with Akron. March! We j- March! March! Oh my god! We just had this conversation. We literally just had this conversation about how Adventuring's claims are baseless. Literally, we just had this conversation, and she's like, Acheron, huh? Didn't Aventurian say she was dangerous? We're all adults here, though. Remember that. Remember that, folks. We're all adults here. I fucking hate March. I hate March. She is, she is as bad as Paimon. I, I hate March. God, I hate March so much. Acheron's POV. Let's go. It's the Lulu, yep. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. And I on POV, I imagine... If you, yeah, you can have a story version as well. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to add the story version. What do they give you? No, they don't. You can't view her detailed information. Okay. I'm just kind of curious. Absolutely freaking crazy. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I intended to be into it. Fully as soon as possible upon return, but with the approaching charm. Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, everything are troubling. However, I urge a Mac to distress on with you immediately. 
Since I returned to Pentaconia, I've experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness. But after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. I'm trying to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacone is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family of Pentagoni. And it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prior prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme, death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I have thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Uh, giant, mo uh, giant, moa? giant moa pudding tarts from Morlons, Wild strawberries from uh, Akanyako, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. And almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Zeep be with us. As soon as I Robin. and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And so the harmony here has been corrupted. Now it seems I was right. Hmm. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Facts. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. A traitor and a group of people who worship the Harmony. Terrible. Answer a male Holivian, Holivian was dragged on the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, a male from Zientia, entered a sephiroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the sephiroid, spheroid, spheroid, spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examination showed no sign of forced entry or exit on the uh, spheroid. Note, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible. Someone goes missing. Someone goes missing. Someone goes missing. Someone goes missing. I'm not reading all these. Someone keeps going missing. She was drawn towards a mysterious sounding calling her walking on the screen, matching on a trace. Required to turn false game. Vision sensory. Noteworthy. Near. Noteworthy. Current approaches related to the site. More attacks occurred in dark or dim environments and is sight really a trigger? Abducted. Keep a lookout for this front fan. Taking a nap. Plus concerns because I want to go my family. Case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. Yeah. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Yep. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. Yeah. According to Robin's interview, Despite having performed on so many grand stages, 
her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. Sunday was the villain the whole time. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. I keep saying that every time there's like a weird revelation about something. That person was the villain the whole time. <laughs> eventually I'll be right. To Sunday, I'm informed about Rob and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action of implications for all Pentagoni. Critical period, blah, 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 blah. Heard that you were planning to dedicate a significant amount of time versus to find death. Such action does not serve the best interest of the family as a whole. And I strongly advise you to reconsider it. Who have digital impeachments from other family heads. Why are you convinced that death is connected to the watchmaker? I've met the watchmaker many times long before Dream Master adopted you and your sister. And I have never found any evidence linking him. Memory zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively. Considering the bigger picture, it is unwise to allocate all of Penicoli's resources and manpower for the sake of personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither of you nor I can face the severe consequences if Dom Dom Dominicus to all the arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from the external resources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as a mishandling this matter can lead to diplomatic conflicts conflicts with major factions involving us in disputes that could have been avoided as your elder i hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately as for the matter of robin there will be time to pursue it uh, it once the festival concludes by then i will provide you with the necessary resources and map power in the name of the alfalfa family to help you get your revenge additionally i have heard rumors that the dream master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities advise you to conduct yourself with caution you're sincerely old odie Bitch, his brother, her sister, his sister just died, and you're just be like, you can't do this. It's family. Master of Penaconi, nor this old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned. They're more concerned about appearances, which is ridiculous to me. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Yes. Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully yours, as my draw Attachment. Ryan, a general staff in the Oak family, short gray hair, leading a laid-back lifestyle, often caught slacking off at work. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffering from severe OCD, unable to work until his tie is tied and checked five times. Rishi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, Connor, a professor, Narnie, blah, 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 blah. Pat, Boris, Natter, Carrie, Brendan, Carter, Woolsey, Olmo, Corona. Melanie, Gabe, Lorthwick, Lester, Ganai. Yeah, there are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Alfalfa family, Alfalfa family, Bloodhound family. I mean, there's a bunch of people. There's probably a conclusion here. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could that's they be kind of what we're trying to figure out. You just asked the question we're already asking. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking. I feel like Doctor Rishu in this scenario. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? I love Sunday's design. To me... Like, visually, as a character, personality or whatever, I like his personality at the moment. But visually, as a character, I think it looks really cool. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. 
On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Um, okay. When you whisper like that, I understand that she was actually whispering, unlike when March is whispering and she really doesn't, but really. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you, the betrayer will soon pay the price. Stage whispering, yep. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Okay, that's not sus at all. This, that's such a sus shot with that kind of like a smug look on his face. Like that's such, the way his mouth is just naturally rests is just very smug. Hotline tip. There was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avjin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Yo, that's Diamond? Yo, when is she coming out? Yo, that's Diamond? Is this is this Diamond? I don't, I don't even care if it's not. I, whoever this is, I want her. I want her right now. Jade? Jade? Oh, yeah, the Jade. Uh, she has the little Jade right here. I can see it. Diamond is a dude. Ah, maybe he's badass and I'll want him too. But if this is Jade, I'll take her too. Event is a nice word for genocide. Yeah, the IPC likes to uh, kind of cover that stuff up. Mr. Mister uh, earlier saying IPC uh, <laughs> supremacy. What pretty eyes. Ooh. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Interesting. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever i stand by that considering how you're just gushing over jade right now hey man i didn't say i never said that i don't support the ipc either i never said i didn't i never said i do no lawyer has the audacity to defend you perhaps you want to i love her voice already i'm already i'm in love already not difficult but definitely pointless. Should probably be a four star though, I bet. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. 
All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden. Do I want to know? I mean, if she's already been, if she's already been sort of leaked, then I don't mind knowing. I guess. Pity your luck has run out. Something here. construction. If you're a lot, if you're lux out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Yazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Hmm. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. I, I, Pharaoh, I see you. I see you. That got, that's all I want to scare me so bad now. <laughs> that's got me hype. Her voice is smooth like butter. Holy shit. Should call him here. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I'm in her brain. She's in my brain. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. She has Jade right here, but there's this little piece right here of Jade, and the way her arm is positioned, I wonder if she has like a Jade arm. Wouldn't that be cool? If, like, the rest of her design was just, like, a jade arm or some shit along those lines. That'd be fucking awesome. You're wrong. Flirty Tombus. I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> a good name. But unfortunately, destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity, and then <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Interesting. I like Jade. Like, it's an interesting story. So it sounds like there was some problems on his planet, a genocide or two, some slavery, and then eventually he did some shit that got his slave owner killed and impressed the IPC, which made them send Jade. And then Jade looking at him and then what happened was like, you can make us a lot of money. You're pretty smart. So here, go. Become our, basically become our servant and go make us a shit ton of money. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's an interesting story. Adventuring story was probably one of the most unexpected stories of the of the game, though, right now. I will say that. Um, of, like, this... Like, it's, it's really good. Like, it was really unexpected, and I think a lot of people would probably see this story and be like, Wow, I either underestimated, thought differently of adventuring, or something along those lines. Because this story is real good. Correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes. What? Definitely didn't expect to have such an intense story with him, to be honest. I like I could honestly say I don't think anybody walked into Pentacony thinking adventuring was going to be such a central point to the story, especially with like the way they've treated Acheron, right? I, I felt like she would be more central, right, to the story. Like she's not not that she's not central, but adventuring is very much like the core of the story right now and um all these flashbacks that we're getting of his story and things along those lines this is this patch is definitely 2.1 is definitely the core of, of the story it's very very interesting like if if 2.0 was the setup for all the characters this which i was where i was expecting more akron we are getting a good amount of that but we are definitely getting a really solid run of adventure in here Especially because everybody's initial reaction to adventuring was like, oh, he's scummy, he's slimy, he's terrible, blah, blah, blah. 
you know, even my reaction is like, oh man, he's, he's, he's terrible, but I love him. Right. Like that has always been my statement, but you also now get to see a little bit of that, um, uh, background, uh, information uh, of why he's the way he is now. Also, I don't, I don't, I imagine if they'll ever actually do an adventuring, I wonder where an adventuring like personal companion mission will be if they actually do one, because this is already feels great. Crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. My series and tied to the main story. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot better than like the Locha one as an example. Like Locha's could have been so much better if they tied it into the story better. <laughs> the harmony. Oh, don't play the fool. Not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of your That's not that hard. I know it's not that hard. It's not that hard to be better than the Lojo's story. Oh shit, it's adventuring. Child adventuring. Man, those eyes look really. That, is, that looks. That is unsettling. On a small child. Like big eyes, small child head. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. <laughs> Hope not, but it could be. So, uh, Hope not, but it could be. Sorry if it was a moment of spoiler. It's all good. I, I haven't, like, the quest has been sitting there literally for months at this point. If, like, after the first month of something being out, if I get spoiled, it's my own fault. I could I could have played it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm playing, if I'm still playing the content that's past that point, I definitely could have, um, could have definitely uh, already played it. Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. <laughs> and Mama Thunga. No, no, it... It can't... So, there aren't good. any Aptons left. Interesting as a concept. It's like, yeah, you could have been a masked fool. But you joined the IPC. You joined the preservation. Why? Interesting thought. After the agony, shouts and cries, prisons, palaces, reverberations. I won't lie, the edge screen stuff kind of makes me sick. Damn. That is. <laughs> wow. Hoyoverse is not fucking around with this story. <laughs> Holy shit. That is a. That is a. Dark image. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. Come on. Huh. That is, in that is interesting, actually. If if every if Jade and Topaz both offered up their cornerstones to use as part of Aventurine's plan, that does signify a sense of um, unity that the family definitely does not have. Um, that the IPC as a group definitely would have, considering the preservation and all this other stuff, which is actually really telling about like I don't know, telling about the characters. As I've said before. Three chips are sufficient. 
All or nothing. Jesus Christ. But will it be the former or the latter? Huh. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. It does look slightly different. It does. It has a little bit more, um, maybe a little more luster to it. It looks less green, a little bit more blue. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Yep. It was in. It was also in the bag, but nobody noticed it because the jade was right there. Uh I was pretty sure there was another one in the bag. That makes sense. It wasn't always oh, in pieces. Oh wow! Did you find your mother and father? Oh, I wonder if this is Klopoff. I just thought about that. Like, I understand that this is um, it's uh, an, like it's supposed to be a, a representative, but it's also possible it could be Klopoff because this wouldn't be the first time that the preservation has appeared as a small child. <laughs> wouldn't be the first time, actually. It's probably not, but it's just a thought that just hit, kind of hit my head because, uh, because of the fact that when we meet, when we meet the preservation, uh, they have kind of, they kind of sort of appeared as a small child, kind of sort of. I'm so happy on our way here. Papa even brought me to see a blimp. We're the Stellaron in play, right? There isn't actually a Stellaron here anymore, right? Like they keep bringing up the Stellaron in play, but it's only been mentioned in this part of the story, in the 2.1 story. It never mentioned it before this in 2.0, right? Yeah, okay. Because we confirmed it to him that we were a stell, we had a stell around inside us. We'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> Thank you, Goldie. Welcome back to the stream. Come on. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, which I honestly think I'm not, but I really don't fucking know, there's a lot being said, and I feel like where 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 things can be simplified down, there's like 20 sentences that basically have no context. Oh, basically, Aventurine um, is going to fake his death, basically, and remove himself from the IPC, and in doing so, somehow secure Penacone for... Uh, the IPC and Diamond, who is totally knows that that's what Venturi is going to do, or something along those lines. And I'm not really sure how, like, how exactly that's all accomplished. Like I said, it's kind of confusing. I'm definitely not following along entirely, but I feel like that's what's being implied here. I feel like that's what's being implied here. But I could be vastly wrong, and in fact, probably am. I wasn't looking this way for an answer other than you're absolutely 100% fucking wrong, you're an idiot. Now I can see. Not, you're absolutely right, you're amazing. Just, you know, just the extreme of the negative. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression your schemes. Forever. I think it's mentioned, if I remember correctly, there was a kind of civil war between the worlds of the systems. Yeah, no, I get it. There's, there's, there's battle and war going on. I'm just trying to figure out when the IPC comes in. Because right now, they've kind of painted it that the IPC may have committed a genocide against their people. But I have a feeling it's not that straightforward or not that simple. that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Maybe not. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. Hmm. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,700... Yep, see? This is what I'm talking about. It's not that straightforward. Missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. 
So it so it was the IPC then that came down. I think I'm pretty sure the men in the black suits are the IPC. Because we know that the IPC agents all have those black kind of outfits and suits with the ties, right? So it would make sense that the IPC had come down and was doing something. And while there was civil war going on, the IPC joined the side of the Avagens, even though the Catechins rose up. I'm not saying what the IPC may have done to the Catechins was good or anything along those lines, but I, I'm trying to understand the angle of, like, if two sides are warring against each other and the IPC chose a side in that war, it makes sense. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. The hammer of... Wow, what a... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why, but I get a, I get a distinct, very, uh, um, I don't know, uh, American sort of feel of this. I'm not going to lie. It's very, uh, the hammer of preservation will come down upon you. We will have diplomacy. <laughs> Democracy will be yours by force if necessary. <laughs> Oof. All hail the IPC. Kakavasha. It explains why he would work for the uh, IPC, though. Despite all of that. Bye. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Now, the IPC failed to protect them and came down to bring an end to the conflict and also sweep a lot into the rug, you know. Which is probably how he ended up in By slavery way, and all this other stuff, too. Before you yep. go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume... Just assuming now... That every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Oh snap. <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> 